Hi, my name is Jake and this is Eli. And if you've never been on our channel before, we love to incubate eggs. All kinds of chicken, duck, pheasant, even emu eggs. But one thing we've never tried to do is to build our own incubator. We thought that'd be a ton of fun because we often get asked by viewers what the, the cheapest option, what the easiest way to get some type of incubator and usually our answer to that is some type of hundred dollar tabletop incubator. Well, we want to change that today. I had the idea to build something and it came to me one day watching Eli. Eli, what do you love to build with? Legos! That's right. Let's get them out. Ready, set, go! <laughs> All right, well, we've got thousands of Legos here, and I'm gonna have Eli be the master builder on this one. You think you can do it? Yes. So all you need to be able to do is fit this heating pad inside of there, make a little tray for water, and then we'll have some way to push and pull the eggs to turn them. All right, buddy, have fun. Yeah. Alright, well we are getting about halfway done with the incubator and we got to find some way to turn the eggs and so we've got this little white piece here that's got some holes and I can either use some rubber bands stretched all the way through or I could use some cord, something like that, and we can move it back and forth to come up with something to move the eggs. So let's put these little white holy pieces in. All right, we are in the home stretch. We've got the heating pad run through the back, the front window almost in place up here, and then we've got our little holes to turn the egg. Last thing we need is some humidity. And we could either just place some bowls in there, but I think it'd be fun if we could do it somehow with Legos. So we need to build some little areas right in the corner. We could just pop off the, the roof and we could pour in some water. Actually, if we build it out to the outside, we could pour some water in and I'll seal it with some silicone or something and uh, we'll be able to pour some water inside. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to done. We've got all of the main body built. We even have two little pockets in here for some water that we can pour in from the outside. We can even cover it to keep airflow from going in and out. And then we need to put a roof on top and then we can start to test it and see if this will hold heat and if I need to silicone anything or if it'll hold enough air and humidity inside here to incubate these eggs. So yeah, let's finish it up. Yeah, we're gonna have to make those first yeah we're going to, have to make the little egg turners that's right all right we've got the egg turner in here it's a simple idea of using some of these big rubber bands that we use for our beehive and so the eggs can go right in between there and then we can pull down here on the end and slowly rotate it throughout the day we all done yes all right we've got our incubator it's super dark in there we're gonna have to get some light we've got our top we've got our cords to pull our egg turner right there and then we've got two spots in the back for water in and it'll fill some water and some troughs right in there and then we can close it up to keep the air flowing out all right let's plug this guy in and then we'll we'll check back in about 24 hours see if it's holding water and heat and see if we can start putting some eggs in there all right we just got our eggs in I am so excited to see what these are. We got these eggs from Alchemist Farm. We've been talking to them about getting some eggs this year. See, it's not a big explosion, Becky. They put a little note on the outside of this that says, please open outside, packed with wood shaving. Because these guys are 100% sustainable and zero waste farm. Got a picture of some of their egg colors. These guys are known for having some amazing color egg layers, and we have no idea what they sent us. So this is gonna be a total mystery. They sent us little crayons that are made like chickens. Oh, cute. So egg number one, I'm gonna get some black copper moran. These guys are known for having some really dark chocolate eggs. And this one is even darker. All right, we've got a well summer egg. This one is not quite an olive egg, it's a darker 
I think they take an olive agar and breed it back to a black copper moran. But here we've got an olive agar. That's a Easter agar mixed with uh, either black copper moran or well summer. And then we've got an isbar egg. These guys lay some really pretty green speckled eggs. Woo! These are some beautiful eggs. Thank you so much Alchemist Farm for sending these our way. We'll link their website in our description. Be sure to check them out. We're really excited to start incubating these tomorrow. All right, well we've been working on a couple things over the past week to make this incubator even better. Back up. I don't get a seat. Check it out, we've got lights. Isn't that cool, Eli? Yes. Yes, thank you, you're right. So we ordered some of these little Lego LED lights. They're right in the top of the incubator and they just plug in right back here via USB. Right now we just have a little bit of water in here. Of course, previously we had two little trays that came in from the outside. It was a good idea, but I wasn't able to fully silicone all throughout there because it was so tight all throughout there. So I made a new one and siliconed it yesterday. And so this will fit perfectly with our egg design right there in the back. And then the last thing we had an issue with was the egg turner. I had the rubber bands. The problem with that, it limited me to only four eggs that I could fit in between there. And we got six eggs from Alchemist Farm. It, the plate turned out to be too hot. The temperature really started rising uh, which is a good thing, but it was getting to be like 120 degrees on the mat itself And it was getting to be about 90 95 degrees throughout the entire incubator And so I thought that's perfect. I'm getting good temperature all throughout But now I need to get them up off the mat and Eli and I have been making and testing these little deals to just hold the uh, eggs up off of the mat So you can see in there two bricks high. It's showing a hundred it's showing 102 there, showing 98. Really, there's not a huge difference. For a while there, it was showing about five degrees hotter the lower they were, but I've turned the temperature down about five degrees since then, so everything's kind of leveling out. And then I'm happy, oh gosh. and then I'm happy with these. We can just set the eggs on here, and then we'll just do a quarter or half turn three times a day at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, we've got our six eggs. We're gonna slit each one in here, and we've got our olive egg and our isbar egg. All right, you guys excited to get this started? Yes! And I'm gonna get a camera set up so we can time lapse the entire incubation and then I'll start to candle them probably from about day five all the way through the hatch. Let's get started. given up on round one with this incubator. We went a few days past when they could have hatched and it's just not gonna happen. Everything looked good from up here. I was happy with the humidity. It wasn't getting really high, but the heat was just perfect in between all the eggs, but everything felt cold on the outside. So the two eggs over here, the two eggs over here, just felt too cold to me. The two eggs in the middle, I, they seemed like they were getting warm enough and that they were developing, but nothing hatched. So, so we're gonna fix it with a, a part that I've got coming in in a couple days. Not but for now, there. I'm gonna Chicken here. say goodbye to these eggs and just go double check to see if anything actually developed with it. I think that was a sage acre. Yep, that one fully developed, but just didn't start hatching. A sage acre didn't make it. All right, well, we're all done with the first phase of the incubator, but we got some new parts, so let's open this up, see if we can fix this thing. All right, we got this all-in-one sensor from Incubator Warehouse. You're able to get a readout on the temperature, you're able to control and it. And then it's got a built-in heater and fan right underneath. It's got a little it sensor that'll go down into the incubator to be able to check on the temperature. And then we even upgraded to possibly put an egg turner in here. Let me see if I can find a spot to put this on the incubator. And then we'll get this thing working again. So yesterday we were working on this incubator and I was getting really frustrated. I woke up this morning, it had been running all night and the hottest it was getting was 76 degrees. The air was blowing. There, I knew there had to be something wrong. So this morning I was looking up other heating elements. I thought at least if I had a working fan, then I could maybe get a heat element somewhere else. But first thing we did was mount this inside so we'd keep all the heat 
contained to the incubator. Second thing we did was change the blower and turn it the opposite direction. I just had it installed the way that it came to us, but I turned it around the other way and it turns out that's the way it actually blows the air the correct way. So before I think it was actually blowing the heat back at itself. And so it wasn't spreading the heat around the incubator and it wasn't getting warmer. That problem is solved as far as our egg It does actually turn right here. Everything I was coming up with was collapsing and there were so many problems with it. So this was the simplest way to get something that was in there that would actually move a little bit. You think the incubator will work this time? Yes! It'll be fun. couple weeks into round two with these eggs and this time we just used some of our eggs from our farm. Uh, we've been candling these and I've only been getting action in really one of these. This one has had a little bit of growth but this egg with a week to go about five days left has had some really good growth. So this is our one chance to get an egg to hatch. You watching the chick hatch? Yes. Because it has white, has white and black. White and black. So the egg wasn't doing much of anything. And Becky had the idea to play some chicken noises and now it's encouraging it to hatch out. What's he look like? He's all black. He might be an all, all I am schmani. Here it is. Welcome to the world, little buddy. Yay. The Lego incubator works. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It finally worked our Lego incubator. You know, this project was actually a year in the works. It was actually March of 2019 that I actually started buying supplies. Up. All these little heat sensors and heaters and fans, and I couldn't get them to work properly, but egg turners. And so we made our first attempt at this last year, built a first edition of the Lego incubator, and it didn't work with all that equipment. Eli built the second prototype of the Lego incubator where we put the heat plate in the bottom and it just did not properly move the heat around in there. And so this third attempt using this little device that actually blows heat throughout the incubator and we could not be more excited about it that we finally figured it out to get it to work. Do you have fun putting together all the sides with me? Yeah. I think you did a great job. It works really great. We're definitely hanging on to this one. So we want to hear from you guys. We would love to make some weird incubators out of other things that you just wouldn't expect them out of. What can you challenge us to make an incubator out of? We'll pick some of our favorites and we'll get started on them. All right, Eli, you have one last thing to make, all right? All right. We can run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel that it burns inside me. Take away the pain, we can go and say. I can feel that it burns inside me. We can run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel that it burns inside me. Take away the pain. All right, Eli, what do we got there? Meet our new chick, Lego. I won't 